Our second stop this week, Borstad and the Tele Nordia Swedish Open, where 35 race points were up for grabs. Top seed in Borstad was the defending champion Magnus Norman. Hampered by a hip injury in recent weeks, he's been struggling for form all year and began the tournament in 32nd spot in this year's race. A wildcard entrant, he had it all to prove. Number two seed Dominic Krabati was a first round victim of St. Poulton finalist Marcus Hipfall. Another early round casualty, Sweden's Andreas Vinsegera, the runner up in Borstad for the last two years. The title still eludes the 20 year old from Malmo. He fell to Andrea Gaudenzi in the second round. The number three seed, Spain's drop shot dragon Alberto Portas, fared better, only to run into Bodan Ulirak in the quarterfinals. After the quarters, the circle of four shaped up like this. Norman would play Bodan Ulirak and Andrea Gaudenzi would face Eunice Elanui, the only man not to drop a set in the last eight. Norman and Ulirak contested the first semi in front of a partisan crowd. Not that Ulirak cared. His greater weight of shot and accuracy provided Norman with plenty to think about. However, you don't get to number two in the world without being a fighter. Love that. Norman finally gave the crowd something to cheer about, but in the end, it was too little, too late. So Ulirak through to his second final this year, denying Sweden a finalist for the first time in six years. Gaudenzi and Elanui clashed in the second semi-final. Two big men, but two athletes. Court tennis is an art, and Gaudenzi was creating a masterpiece. The Italian was enjoying every stroke. The Moroccan wanted to tear up the canvas. Gaudenzi threw to his second final of the year, and on that form, the firm favourite. So the Czech Republic in Bodan Ulirak would face the Italian artist Andrea Gaudenzi in the final. In four previous meetings, Ulirak had allowed Gaudenzi one set. With the formalities completed, Gaudenzi went about creating another work of art. With Gaudenzi attacking at every opportunity, there was little that Ulirak could do. but Gaudenzi wasn't to be thrown off his stroke. Match point was one to remember.
Gaudenzi quite rightly delighted after claiming his second title this year. And even though there was no Swede participating in the final, the crowd knew they'd watched a master at work all week. <laughs> 